and some good control. Like you can just keep that Ursa Warrior inside imprisonment or hexed up or Frostbite has the clarity so he can always fall back in the jungle and still have the mana to support this. Well, they're gonna go again, this time with the shackles and the spin. Boombox are waiting for the perfect opportunity and the damage will be enough. Gabby has to break free of the cogs and he will be able to do so. It just feels like clutch gamers haven't really committed to winning any one lane. When you're versing this SF with souls, you have to say, alright, if we're not gonna win that lane, make sure we win the other lanes. Press Instead. the attack, Rappy. Press yes. the attack. He doesn't have mana for it. He's too short. Oh. And with the, the movement up, in the game. with the movement up from the Nine Stalker, this should be a guaranteed kill. Crystal Bane's gonna come in, the shackles go to work, Bobica will free him out with that vo void. XS having to back himself out for battery assault, gets himself into a good line, hook shot up, hits the Juggernaut, and they need to keep him permanently stunned, they're able to do so. Bobrick is going to start off with the silence, making sure there is no way to suppress the attack free. Now, able to do so. Movement speed, the wings clip him a little bit, where's that extra void? And there it is. And this 8 to 12 minute mark is where he gets the alone time. Gabby, I don't know if you really want to stick around here. The Cogs are going to trap him in. You got the Frostbite available from Q. Can't actually reach him. The Cogs are keeping him down on the low ground. Now they can reach him. Hold the Juggernaut in position with the extra silence. There was no way for Gabby, as opposed oh, to absolutely hook. nothing, is a uh, hook shot. Fly solo, blinding light will give him just a little bit of space. He's trying to cut cogs. through his own cock, kept missing yes. on it, and burning underneath the. Actually, yeah, they're going to duel him up. Hold him underneath the shrine. Bobica flying in through the back line. Still five heroes here. XS wants to go back in. A quick Omni Slash. Bobica, and he's the one that copped the brunt of that. And the Illuminate also connecting into the Crystal Maiden. They're all just so low. The Cogs pushing back CG, but so does the Blinding Light. XS back into the middle of CG, but Armel, he got pushed down. Still in range to let the imprisonment go. XS, no! He doesn't get denied up to the Alpha Force, but someone must free the OD. There's Boombox and Gabby. They're the ones to be caught out. Bobica straight up gets the Hexen silence, just trying to keep Shadow Shaman controlled as much as they can. TP's coming in from the Keeper of the Light. He may be regretting this, or maybe he doesn't. The Blinding Light pushes them away as Gabby isolated. He wants to Omni Slash. He needs to get a little bit further away and then isolate XSS, but it won't happen. The Clockwork will find the kill. Cotter will die underneath the Tier 2 tower. As Bobica, oh, Mana League, he's actually caught out here. They start up the duel. Excess has himself with a battery assault. He's got himself a hookshot available as well, and they all just go in. The OD stunned up perfectly. You will get the Death Requiem out, but you're losing too many big ones. You're too big, Cause Your Shaman will follow, and XSS. Force off work him in range of the Keeper of the Light. I do is getting it. elsewhere. They oh find God, Q. The bash on Jug. XSS, do you want to try and create a little bit of space looking towards Gabby? Gabby able to get that Omni Slash off. All of it going in. Almost all of it into the Clockwork before he's finally brought down. Burning just opens up. Nice hook shot in. Caught, catching out the Legion Commander as OP just races his way through with the Legion Commander. The TP out won't happen in time. Three heroes lost. Some decent region. Yeah, it's more just like you, you commit this career. They're coming out for this. Bobica takes to the air, comes back in again, looks for the Keeper of the Light, nice hook shot, catching out the Legion Commander and the OD, both of them getting caught inside the cogs, and OD has to take the damage from OP, no choice about it, even with the Blinding Light, that's not enough to save him, and they're going in deeper, Bobica to the other side of the Illuminate, they trigger the Shrine CG in full defense mode. Back behind their tower, it's a low crystal mage, the Mass 7 are down, it's a good duel from Rappi, out of find the kill there, loses his life instantly after, he does not have buyback, and that SF is a beast! The damage output he is implementing, Nice Soccer will go down, as Shaman comes back in for the cheeky shock. Running forward, Clockwork does have his hook shot, goes straight inside the Legion Commander. The Cogs doesn't actually let him go, he got hexed up instead for the Requiem of Souls, out from OP. All the damage will be negated, as well as basically impacted into the CG asses. Gabby on the run, they need a little bit more control on him. Shadow Shaman, he's a good controller as well, keeping the Shadow Fiend out of the fight, but it still does not create enough space for his Juggernaut. The Ghost have to delay the inevitable, Cogs will hold him in position. Four heroes down, as Bobrika stares down the OD. Bobrick oh, doesn't have the perfect vision, he's hunting the Knight of Slong cooldown for three more seconds, the duel is out, they find the Ursa Warrior, the, the hookshot, it doesn't do enough work from XXS, and maybe now they can find, but no, the BKB SF is in the neighborhood, Ursa will buy back into the game, Requiem, he'll fly out, killing off the Keeper of the Light, not to mention Q's ulti, and another hookshot, Cogs pushing him back, Gabby, nothing he can do but die, and then think about expending that buyback. Looking for that defense if CG are trying to do it. In fact, it's no, 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 no. The OD is going to fall. Sniff is through, and they're right on top of him. A straight up Abyssal Blade, a hook shot to seal the deal. Eight. Oh. 
They may just have to let this lane go. They will delay it and be very annoying. Oh, the push. They fall off him oh, forward. Got the BKB and SF protected by his immunity of the BKB in the back lines. Exorcist forced off the way. The OD ulti. It'll hit decently hard, but not hard enough. Requiem assaults out from the SF. Boombox will try and control him up a little bit with both the blinding light and the shackle is going to go to work. SF, he has the cheese available. Back towards the tier 4 towers. Actually doesn't trigger the cheese. No radiant creep wave to speak of, so you should be able to get a good Omni Slash off. And now Mass Open wants up there. Shackles to follow up. Rappy blinks forward. Goes for the duel on the Ursa Warrior. Oh, before he got the enraged off before he can get the cheese. Willem, yes he does. The Ursa will fall and they all go down so low. The OD ulti has done some work with a little bit more attack. XXS will also fall. Defensive imprisonment but the Shadow Fiend controlled up perfectly by CG. OP is so low. 150 life. They don't want to just kill him off. Not the start. That achieved absolutely nothing. Then now the cheese triggered off by the Night Stalker. Deep inside the base. Shackled up again. He can't fly himself out. This one, the Night Stalker will die as well. OP is leaving and CG defend the top racks. It's a five on five ball, but who gets close? A hundred of the Knights long cooldown for two more seconds. The Luminous spam. They actually got the vision from that. With the Master Wars down, the duel is out. And will they kill off Burning once again? No, this time he'll get his BKB up as well as triggering off the first wave of cheats. You lost your Legion. You lost your Shaman. Mana League will try and control up OP, but burning back into the fight. Doesn't get the bash onto the Keeper of the Light, but Q just jumps in. He can just let it go if he wants to. Keeper of the Light, okay, he'll just do it for style points. Connor was already dead, and Gabby is making his run out of the bottom lane. Bobrika hot on his tail. You got another hook shot available from the Clockwork, and that'll catch out the Juggernaut. The Cogs to make sure he gets pushed back even further. Almost no mana. Frost it up. And this may be the final nail in the coffin. Only OD survives. You do have two buybacks available. But now 70 seconds without the Shaman. They've lost their Hexes. They've lost their Shackle. They've lost the Disable. Hookshot barely missing. The Burning Warrant goes on to him. Defensive imprisonment. They broke him free to start with. With the press, the attack and fly solo. Quick four start. But the damage from the SM is just ridiculous. You've lost both of your supports. The OD is almost going to go down. And if IG want to, they can dive the fountain at this point. That fountain is gone. The ancient is dead. The phase shift. Have a pretty good time in a, a one potential 1v. Yeah, right around the back. Fly solo TV. keeps him slowed up. And uh, yeah, that'll actually be first blood. One more punch. Fly solo. Okay, he voids. They're trying to give it to the troll. And they're able to do so. Gabby will claim it. He won. Yeah. Oh, Rappi's going to borrow a strike up. The Frostbite will come in, but they know Burning doesn't have spin. And Fly Solo rotated up, and they may just have enough damage. One more attack, and yep, Burning baited into the fight, and they want more. You get two, probably. You Is just it? burnt the Mango, so there will be a Void and a borrow strike yep. to pump into the Crystal Maiden. Meanwhile, okay, it's, it's an XXS moving back past his Tier 2 town, so he's been forced to abandon his offlane while the clutch offline is about to find some good kills. 275 movement speed. Wait for it, wait for it. We can just do this from this perspective. Actually, no, we can't. The trees block too much. Borrow strike, void, kill. Uh, pushing underneath the tower is a lot easier to do. Just because of the attack slow that comes on top of the tower, he's going to dual breath into the tree lines. Earthshaker starts ticking down from this. And uh, while well, with Fly Solo also arriving, Top lane preparing to fight here, CG, the Dream Call, holding Bobaker in position. Right underneath the tower, a quick orb jaunt forward, gives the extra... I do need something to go their way, they are falling behind us. There you go again, X marks the spot, Gabby, quick whirling axis, but the Conquer Boat is going to be able to connect, Troll Wall on some Space, unable to find it. Fly Solo at least ensured there was no Echo Slam from XXS to just follow up, that's where the Crippling Fear kicked in. Looks like top lane, they're also having a fun little battle, but it's X marks the yeah. spot. Fly Solo, dragged back into Invictus Gaming. The P1 Tower on bottom. Okay, this is nice little opening. Double Barrow Strike, the Macro Pyre is down. It's doing burning. Juggernaut can't get out of it in time. The ship from Bobacool will arrive with a cover of whole free to be up and Let's boy. it go! He was right on top of the Night Stalker and managed to finish the... They did not expect that Shadow Blade And to now they're going to lose Gabby as well. The Fissure has blocked him in. The Dire Observer was planted down by Q previously. It gave him the Vision, the Echo Slam damage, not enough to kill him off. Instead, they can turn their attention towards the SK. Okay, maybe it is. OP finds his fourth kill of this mid-engagement. Use a Shadow Blade for a Requiem, and he immediately does it. 
Oh, XSS just used his vision defensively, able to get the sun to the Night Stalker, yeah, but now OP, raise number one, already pushes them back, and X marks the spot into a torrent, lost the Frostbite, gaining all the control they've got on top of the SK. Fly solo, do you really want to do this? He actually will he get wants this. this. He wants it. I don't know, oh. does he? Fidge is back off cooldown again. He's looking for the totem stop, but the okay. silence onto XXS. They find that kill, and the rest of IG have already oh, they left. They're Gabby looking for another the target. Ward. It's X spot on top of Gabby. The Dire Observer Ward let them see up the hill, and once again, they're happy to be very liberal with the Kunkers run. Now, boom, box. Oh, the Omni Slash rips apart Gabby with the extra crit into spin. Burning this time around be the man to find the double kill. Smoke will break, Rappi jumps in, gets the Burrow Strike off over an XXS, he's still low, Echo Slam, it won't come off, but Rappi loses his life quickly, a perfect ultimate from Q, CG just could not get the opening, Flying Sword gets dragged back down by the X marks the spot, and Jakiro is on the wrong side of the tracks as well. OP is mid rapidly lane. approaching his butterfly, as uh, you are right, mid lane is where they're looking to initiate OP. Fire strikes onto him, can they break him free? The ice path holds OP there, but now BKB, Requiem of Souls, he'll get it off. A couple of quick raises, they find the kill OP on 97 HP. Well, Swagger is way out of here. Meanwhile, Boombax finds Bobaka. Next is S, Echo slams onto two, the perfect blink with the Fissure follow-up. Cry. Try solo, fly solo, run away, back into the turret, you can't run anywhere. Hey, this is not your thing. I mistimed it. This is not your thing. He has the blink still. He, he can go again. In three seconds time, the ice path will slow it down. Oh no! Rappi, he jumped all the way in, but it was the Yule step. The puck the gets caught out, stunned, controlled. 51 seconds on the sideline, and Gabby is the bigger target for them now. Into the Omni Slash, away from the Creep Wave. Totem stomp it, stomp him up, and that is... Two cores down for Clutch. They are really trying to stop Roshan, but with the macro pyre, skip. he can't even TP back. It's on cooldown for 42 seconds. They don't have the Night Stalker in this fight. Without the troll, burning into the Omni Slash, the Creep Wave will soak up a little bit more, not to mention that you'll have the defensive, but the Requiem of Souls. That'll put the SK down. This top melee Rax will be gone. Fly Solo is in the neighborhood. But he is also having to roam back in through the mid, and now you're in daytime. Another 1 minute and 12 seconds until night timing can come. The X marks the spot go. Looking for the target. It's going to be Rappi jumping in. Frost bitten up quickly. Sentry Ward is on the ground, so they perfectly see the SK. Sandstorm did not protect him, but the Yules keeps him away from the Requiem of Souls. But X and Torrent does us work once more. Q. But without an Observer Ward, they're just going to walk into IG. IG, because the scan connected, XSS sees Boombacks. He doesn't realize how many are behind him. Now he does. Does he blink? He Shadow Bladed with a gem. Echo Slam will drop the Night Stalker back down again. Where is your Omni Slash damage? It's all into the Troll Wall on. Gabby cops most of it, combining it up with the Freezing Field. But Jakiro and Night Stalker will fall down. It's OP who is the man to do the damage. Two heroes without buyback available. Gabby will TP back to regenerate. But IG are already going to enter the base. Yep. Nicely played by IG. Rather than using Roche to end the game, well, Roche to end the game by taking ages, they use Roche to end the game by baiting clutch gamers into them and having the high ground advantage there. So they knew clutch gamers would probably make a desperation play to smoke a Roche. They Good just game. on the high ground. Easy game for IG. One glorious epicenter to uh, 